Hi, I'm Chef from the Sunshine Studios and I am a printmaker and an artist and this is From the Gram. I joined Instagram on 28th July 2019 and this is my first post, it's my logo. I have 3,462 absolutely beautiful babies. I have 303 posts. I try to post at least four or five times a week, but Madhu again like two or three. Okay, so this is my favorite post from this year. It's a chop that I made. It goes with all my art prints. I designed it myself. Okay, it's a selection of prints that we first released. And it has 44 shares. It's, I mean, it's not like a lot, lot, but that's the most I've got really grateful for it. From my most recent ones, it would have to be this. It was a short introduction that I did. Okay, so um, this is one of the first printmakers that I saw, the sweetest fern. She inspires me a lot because she she's very skilled in printmaking. So most of the people that I get inspired by are just other printmakers. Okay. So another one would be this one, Marit Hanian. It's, it's, she does beautiful stuff, okay? Like it's gorgeous work. I hope to be like her one day. Okay, this one's uh, another one's uh, Blooming Print. They make a uh, floral themed um, lino cuts and printed goods. And this another one called the Printed Peanut. They have very colorful lino cuts and I, I aspire to try that out one time. And um, this is a local company called the Rohi Surf Company. They are one of the most authentic brands that I've met in Maldives and they have amazing creative stuff. They make t-shirts and surfboards. One of my current favorites is Lydia Grace Studios. She makes, uh, she is multi-talented. She's currently on a journey on trying out different type mediums of art. So she's been making these little crochet earrings and stuff, it's very pretty. And another one would be Just Ray Things. She makes handmade tote bags and it's, it's another very authentic, very beautiful brand. And this one's Easy Williamson Prints. They make very intricate, like multi-block prints that go made into one print. So a lot of work goes into that. It's very beautiful stuff. And this one here, Harriet Popham, I see her posts a lot and it's very, very inspiring stuff. They have a lot of details in their work. And, and then we have Rare Press. It's, uh, she's a very contemporary, bold, vibrant printmaker. She makes very amazing, very relatable things. That's all. To stay consistent and not worry about it too much. Uh, one would be one major person would be my sister Art Foshi. She is an extremely hard worker and she's really creative and she's basically one of the strongest creatives I have in my life that helped me. So yeah. Um, you don't have to do much. If you want to go big, support their work by buying their work, spreading their work, getting your family and friends to buy, buy their work. And another very easy thing that costs nothing is to just share their work, comment on their work, and just introduce their art to other people. I try to keep it in 
a simple like a, a soul aesthetic which is mostly broad daylight sunlight pictures but if i can't do that just light airy pictures i don't really think they do i feel like there's a lot to be improved but um the creative community on instagram is pretty cool i think but um on a larger scale it we do need a lot a lot more support the first person i would like to give a shout out to is my sister art for she and um this is a pin that she made on a bag that i designed and it's really beautiful and amazing work and she really deserves more recognition for what she does another one i would like to give a shout out to is little tiny studio um she makes very intricate very beautiful work like this these are embroidered tiny hoop earrings and she's a mom and i'm a big supporter of mom entrepreneurs so yeah this is one for sure and um another one would be homemade by lara they make amazing lasagnas and i mean the best lasagnas i've tasted and another shout out i'd like to give would be pang kang i met them because they came to me to make a stamp and they gave me a sample of a uh, bread that they made and it was heavenly and i i definitely think more people should support their business and most importantly i love this woman and the artist and she makes really beautiful pins and amazing handcrafted jewelry and i really think that she too deserves a lot more recognition for what she does One of the notable ones who have been there from the beginning is Ekus Tiara. She makes handmade bags and totes and banners and things. It, it's very pretty handy work. And she's been there from the beginning. I really really appreciate her support. And another would be Aika. She is an amazing makeup artist and amazing doesn't even cover it. <laughs> she's a very friendly, very sweet girl. I try to not let it get to me but when I work hard on something and when I expect people to like it and and then it doesn't happen so um yeah it, it gets a bit disheartening Um when I first started this there wasn't a lot of other printmakers in Maldives so I got a lot of positive feedback from people who were just very happy to see something new starting up and thriving in the local art community i would say being consistent with your feed and with interacting with your customers um create because you want to not necessarily because you want to make money off of it not for the sake of doing it not for likes just create because something in in you wants to express i stay in touch with my followers by having um sporadic polls giving sending them a message making a specialized post things like that I absolutely do. It's how we grow as creatives and as a business three point mostly. It's how we're going to grow as a local and it's how we're going to it's how we're going to thrive as a local art community. I mean since ancient times we have created and supported and sustained us and I just don't understand why that can't happen now. I the most important thing is that I study. I consider myself a lifelong learner, so um I am I keep up to date with books, videos, seeing workshops from other artists and printmakers. Basically, um even if it isn't related to printmaking, things that just cover art as a whole because being educated on something can really help just progress yourself with your work.
there is if you're brave enough to do it and on on kind of a higher level if you're given enough opportunities then sure we have amazing creative people in this country that just need a push and a chance i have been as i like to put it i have been relentlessly pursuing art since i was a child so i kind of refuse to let this go and it's it's a notion that um art isn't a stable career or it's not something that's accepted like being a doctor or a lawyer you know um so i think that um as long as you persevere you're there and i in I intend on just pursuing this until I'm dead. I feel like art is a very broad term. It can mean anything to anyone. For me, it means a way of expression. For me, it's a language and a way to document and record things. Art can be simplified or long it can be anything that you make. Like if you make breakfast, call it art. It's art. <laughs> mm, this was one of the difficult and probably the best that we've done. It this one was um about 5 inches long maybe and it had like very teeny tiny details in it that we had to carve and it was like very satisfying at the end. I think this was a beautifully designed logo by Island Works. So yeah, this this was it. god willing i would like to see myself um kind of just expand the sunshine studios into a complete studio where um i could sell um, keep it as a place where i could celebrate and offer resources to other artists that aren't normally available i kind of wanted to be just a a proper space for artists where they can do their work where they can learn where they can just fully immerse themselves because i i think we really lack that here and i would like to see that for us so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this program and listening to me talk about art and my work i am chef from the sunshine studios and please support me on instagram if you'd like to and this was from the ground <laughs>